In this video, we're gonna start working on some skin. Underpainting done. Let's start getting some color on this guy. Now, one thing I wanna point out real quick here. So take a look at this dude. He is obviously not human, uh, or there's some inhuman blood in there. And uh, so we're gonna do with some differences, but notice that guy's nose, and then notice guy number two. Notice his nose. I don't know if you can see it. I'll bring guy number three in here. Uh, sometimes in the Simon games with the Studio McVeigh miniatures, there's mold errors. So two of these guys have like their noses cut off basically so we're gonna start with the guy with a good nose all right here's the plan uh because these guys obviously have some inhuman ancestry in there somewhere and that the turtle gland we're gonna try to do some greenish skin so here's my greens here's what i'm gonna use so i'm gonna do a 50 50 mix of this dark green and this mid-tone for uh one guy so yep and then we're gonna use the mid-tone and then we're gonna do a 50 50 mix of the mid-tone and this lighter tone for uh, the third dude and then the plan is to make a glaze out of these so that we have transparent layers going over underpainting I haven't actually shown how I make glazes so I'm gonna do it again uh, so I'm putting a little bit of paint on my wet palette and um, I'm gonna set up my my mid tones so that I don't have to do go back and forth between the pots later but there we go and now I'm gonna get my glaze medium and I'm going to get pretty close to a 50 50 max um, maybe like a 60 40 paint to glaze medium and then i'm going to get my brush and have it very saturated with water i'm going to mix all this together i'm going to come back and put some dark in here just to again make it darker but the point is or the plan is the consistency you're looking for is take a brush load it up wick out most of it on a napkin and then paint on your fingernail and if it's a transparent layer if you can see through that's the consistency you're looking for. You you figure it out as you're doing it. So with this on my brush, I wicked some off on the paper towel and now I'm just going to paint over the skin. And since I'm using a transparent glaze, the highlight is going on in the base coat because over the areas of white, it'll be lighter than the areas of gray, which will be lighter than the areas of black. I'm probably gonna do two coats of this. All right, here's what it looks like after one coat. And um, you can already see some of the highlights coming through in the areas that I did the underpainting. And then this is what it looks like after two coats. And uh, pretty happy with it. So just so you comparison, there is an unpainted but value sketched mini. And then here's the skin tone going over that. All right, so time to go and work on other skin tones. I think we're gonna do the dark one. And here's after, again, one coat of that. And uh, in comparison, I think it's cool having slightly different skin tones going on with these guys. So, haven't had time to work on the third guy. So we're going to go and throw my wet palette in the fridge, try to preserve these glazes. And we're going to come back and we're going to do some more work on these guys on the morrow. I don't know if you noticed the masking tape also, but I labeled which guy was which so that I wouldn't have to try to figure it out.